You know, I really like this section of the Silver Comet Trail. Um, it's, you know, it's shaded. It's not the most scenic. Uh, and it's not, you know, the quietest. And, you know, you don't see the most wildlife. Although I do see wildlife here. But I like it because it's shaded. And uh, if you watched my video yesterday where I talk about the hats. Ball men and hats. I don't even have to wear a hat. And talking about bald, being bald, do you do you realize? I mean, I grew up knowing, knowing that I was going to be bald. I mean, there was no question, no doubt in my mind. I knew I was going to be bald. I knew I planned on being bald before I was thirty. Uh, every man on my dad's side you know and they said well you get it from your mother's side <laughs> look man i look just like all my dad brothers and him and all that i mean i was a nickels all the nickels are bald yeah and out of all my dad's brothers and sisters and all my cousins they were all girls except one except me and one other boy so we should have got all the genes all the hair genes we should have got all the hair from our whole family, all the men put together. And we're both bald. So here I am, 13 years old. No, you go, no one, I'm gonna be bald. You know, I've only got so much time. And thanks to all you people in the 60s and 70s that had all this long hair and all your rebellious ways. When I went to high school, we had rules about your hair. And you couldn't wear your hair over on your collar. It couldn't be on your collar and it couldn't be over your ears. Now, I don't know what the thing was about it being over your ears. It could be as big as you wanted to get it. It just couldn't go over your ears and down on your collar. So, but I couldn't grow an afro. So that really didn't do me any good. Yeah, you people in the 60s and 70s, you robbed me of my opportunity to fully recognize my hair's potential. So I get out of high school and I've lost all those years. And okay, now it's time to go to college. So you're probably thinking, man, I bet you grew your, I bet you had some hair. I went, I went to North Georgia College right when I got out of high school. And it happens to be a military school. I wasn't going in the military, uh, but it was very cheap. It was very cheap. The lowest price school in the state. And it was a good school too. So I go to North Georgia College and guess what the first thing they do? Cut what little hair I had off. <laughs> so there's more years wasted. No hair. When I had hair, could have had all the hair I wanted. So I get out of North Georgia College and I went to the University of Georgia and I transferred. When I went to the University of Georgia, I grew me some hair. <laughs> For those of you that are uneducated about the 80s and you look down on the mullet there was a time prior to Billy Ray Cyrus Billy Ray Cyrus was the mullet you know redneck mullet guy so there was a time before Billy Ray Cyrus where uh, U2 this is before U2 was really big their lead singer Bono had a mullet and actually there were a lot of people that had what we call mullets now they weren't called mullets then it was just cool long hair and it wasn't like the 60s long hair so you had the short hair and then the long hair you know make it a statement so i grew that hair and every time somebody looks back at my pictures they like they're like you had a mullet and i'm like I we didn't even, I didn't know what a mullet was until later when Billy Ray Cyrus popularized the mullet. But I had the pre-mullet cool long hair. So I had a couple of years of enjoying my flowing locks. And then I had to go student teach. Well, you can't go in some classroom in rural Georgia. I mean, cause it was a, it was, you know, this is the 80s. I can't go in some classroom with a mullet, or not a mullet, it wasn't a mullet, with my hair 
and so I had to get my hair cut. Had to get my hair cut. Had to straighten up, wear pants, you know, <laughs> go to work. So I had to start student teaching, so I had to cut my hair. So now I'm, I'm, I'm working. And then I get a job. Same thing, you can't coach football in the 80s. You can't have long hair. And I'm creeping faster and faster to that time when my hair is gonna be gone. And sure enough, about the time I got in my 30s, so I just gave up. I just started shaving my head. But let me say this, if there was some miracle where I could have hair again, I would look like, I mean, you want to talk about the hippies having some hair. I would have hair, I mean, long hair. I just have hair. It would be everywhere. Yeah, I would look like a biker mixed with a Native American, mixed with a Viking, mixed with a hippie, mixed with a, you know, the people would dread a lot. I mean, it would just be giant hair hair and I would always be in places where the wind blows where the wind was just blowing my hair everywhere just hair trying to eat and you got hair I mean I had this hair everywhere like Fabio with with way more hair way more hair than Fabio and better hair could look like Benjamin Franklin about that um <laughs> i do <laughs> i might do it uh make a comment below if you think i should do that but uh i'm really considering it just to you know you know what's aggravating it's not like i'm not hairy you know it's not like i don't i just don't have hair on top of my head i mean i got hair everywhere i look like a wolf man there's hair everywhere i mean if you saw me you know it would just be like a a big white really white hairy kind of a fat guy with hair everywhere and really dark tanned arms neck and head and legs the farmer's tan it's a big fat, fat hairy wolf man with tanned legs and arms and now that you got that picture in your mind you guys ever eat those biscuits that you that come in a can you know like the Pillsbury biscuits or whatever and you hit the can on the counter and the dough comes out that's what I look like like a can of busted biscuits <laughs> I love that can of busted biscuit bu busted biscuits can of busted biscuits that's hard to say I'm gonna be a can of busted biscuits with a bunch of hair and long hair and a ball head how about that you like that? Have a good day. Nichols Retirement Empire.